In the Home tab, we've got all the main controls for bot behaviors and capabilities. The Difficulty category sliders are quick ways to change how skilled and responsive the bots are. The Vision Distance Multiplier. This controls how far bots can see to acquire a target. The higher it is, the easier it is to spot targets at range. The Vision Speed Multiplier. This controls how quickly bots can identify a target when spotted. The lower it is, the faster they can acquire targets. The Scatter Multiplier. This controls how wide a bot's rapid fire spread is when engaging. The lower it is, the more narrow their cone of fire will be. The Hearing Distance Multiplier. This controls how far a bot can effectively hear activity. The higher it is, the farther away they can hear activity. The Aggression Multiplier. This controls how aggressive bots are in general when responding to activity. The higher it is, the more likely they will respond to activity with force. The Precision Speed Multiplier. This controls how quickly bots can land direct hits when firing. The lower it is, the faster they can hit their targets. The Accuracy Speed Multiplier. This controls how quickly bots can steady their aim on target. The lower it is, the quicker they can direct rapid fire. The General Category values provide controls for the broad spectrum of bot capabilities. The Bots Use Grenade Toggle. This controls a bot's ability to engage with grenades. If on, they can. If off, they cannot. The Bots Weight Effects Toggle. This controls whether a bot's movement and aiming are affected by their kit. If on, gear and weapons will weigh them down. If off, they will move freely. The Vanilla Bot Behavior Settings Group. These values are all off by default and reset all behaviors for each bot type to vanilla EFT settings. Toggle them on for each type only if vanilla behaviors are desired. The Performance Group. Performance mode limits the bot's ability to find cover by reducing its ray casting in the environment, thereby reducing the load on PC hardware and raids. If on, bots will struggle to find cover, but CPU-limited systems may see better PC performance. The AI Limit Group. The Limit Sane function in AI vs AI Global Toggle reduces bot capabilities against other bots at range from the player to save PC resources. If on, the bots will have a reduced ability to engage one another, only changing when close to or against the player. The AI Limit Update Frequency Slider controls how responsive bots are to the proximity of the player. Measured in seconds, the higher the value, the longer it will take them to act to their full potential at range. The AI Limit Ranges subgroup has sliders to control the three levels of distance from the player required for AI Limit to take effect in meters. Defined by FAR, Very FAR, and Narnia, these sliders affect the range at which bots will use their limited behaviors to save PC resources. The Limit AI vs AI Vision toggle will further impair bots against one another by reducing their vision range when far from the player if on. The Max Vision Ranges subgroup has sliders to control the maximum distance for each of the three levels of AI Limit, capping the previous subgroup. Defined by FAR, Very FAR, and Narnia, these values limit the full distance at which bots are visible to one another. The Limit AI vs AI Hearing toggle reduces the distance at which bots can hear one another when far from the player to save PC resources. The Max Hearing Ranges subgroup has sliders to control the three levels of distance at which they can hear activity. Defined by FAR, Very FAR, and Narnia, these sliders cap the effective hearing range of all bots and meters. The Cover Group. This group consists of advanced parameters for fine control over how bots find and use cover in raids. The Doors Group. The SANE door handling toggle is currently a work in progress and controls whether SANE has any influence over bots using doors in raids. The No Door Animations toggle controls whether bots use the interaction animation when opening and closing doors. The Always Push Open Doors toggle controls whether or not bots can open doors in either swing direction and only applies if the previous toggle is on. If off, bots can only open doors properly in their intended direction. If on, bots can sometimes avoid getting stuck by forcing the door to open in the opposite direction. The Disable All Doors toggle controls whether bots can open doors at all to prevent animation issues and is off by default. If on, bots will not attempt to open any normal doors in any raids. The Extract Group. The Enable Extracts Global toggle controls whether bots can extract from raids using the extraction points. The Dazzle Effectiveness slider controls how severely bot vision is affected when looking directly into the beam of a flashlight. The higher it is, the worse their target acquisition will be when dazzled. The Max Dazzle Range slider controls how far away a flashlight can dazzle the bots. The lower it is, the closer they can get before being dazzled. The Allow Light On for Dark Buildings toggle controls whether bots will use their own flashlights in dark buildings. The Turn Light Off No Enemy Type toggles control whether or not each bot type will use a flashlight when alone and at a distance from others. If on, the selected bot type will disable their flashlight when separated from enemies to conceal their position. The Silly Mode toggle enables or disables automatic dazzling when bots are affected by flashlights in any capacity. The Looting Bots Integration Group. The Bot Extraction from Loot toggle controls whether bots will attempt to extract from raids after acquiring a certain amount of loot. The Min Loot Val sliders control the threshold for when the bot types will attempt to extract after looting. The higher the value, the more value in loot will be required for them to attempt the extract. 
The min loot val exception determines the minimum value at which a bot will attempt to extract without looting any further. The jokes group. The random cheater AI toggle simulates live EFT by enabling 1% of bots in a raid to perform like real-world cheaters or hackers. If on, there's a chance that a random bot will become a cheating player with enhanced skills and perfect aim. The random speed hacker chance slider controls the likelihood of a random bot spawning as one of the cheaters from the default 1%. The debug group. This group has tools and options for troubleshooting sane bot behaviors and will go unused by most. Almost every value is disabled by default and will likely remain that way for the majority of SPT players. The aiming category has controls for tuning how bots aim their weapons in raid. The Always Aim Center Mass Global Toggle forces bots to aim for an entity's center mass to avoid constant headshots and limb loss. The Hit Effects Group The new Hit Reactions Toggle controls whether bots experience the enhanced reactions upon being shot, including directional aim debuffs. If off, the parameters following this toggle will have no effect on bots when hit. The Hit Effect Multiplier Slider controls the magnitude of consequences when bots are hit. The higher the value, the more bot aim will be made worse when hit. The Use Hit Point Direction Toggle controls whether a bot's aim is affected according to the direction of injury. If off, bot aim will be kicked randomly regardless of the direction they were hit from. The Aim Down Sight Time Multiplier this slider controls how long it takes for a bot to aim and hold a target in ADS. The higher this value, the longer it will take them to acquire a target when using weapon sights. The Enemy Move Scatter Max Buff This slider controls the maximum firing cone when bots engage unmoving targets. The higher this value, the larger their firing pattern will be, which is further scaled by the shooter's own movement velocity. The Enemy Move Scatter Max Debuff This slider controls the bot's minimum firing cone when engaging targets in motion, but not sprinting. The lower this value, the more accurate bots will be against moving targets. The Enemy Move Scatter Sprint Debuff This slider controls bot aim when engaging enemies that sprint. The lower this value, the less capable they'll be of hitting a target that is mid-sprint. The Global Faster CQB Reactions Toggle This toggle enables all bots to respond more quickly when faced with foes in close proximity. If off, bots will have delayed reactions to the sudden appearance of targets up close. The PMC's Aim for the Head Toggle This toggle enables bot PMC's to aim for the head when firing at enemies. The PMC Aim for Head Chance This slider controls the likelihood that PMC's will successfully aim for the head during engagements when the previous toggle is enabled. The higher this value, the more likely it is that bot PMC's will attempt headshots. The Hearing category enables fine-tuning for bot hearing. The Max Footstep Audio Distance this lighter controls the maximum range that bots can hear the sounds of movement. Measured in meters, the higher this value, the farther away they can hear motion and gear usage. The max footstep audio distance without headphones. This lighter controls the maximum range at which bots can hear the sounds of movement without active hearing protection sets. Measured in meters, the lower this value, the less capable they are of hearing movement and gear use at range without a headset. The max range to report enemy action no headset. This lighter controls the distance at which bots will call out an enemy position when spotting without active hearing protection. Measured in meters, the higher this value, the farther away a bot can be when announcing an enemy position. The hearing delay, reaction time with active enemy. This slider controls how quickly a bot can react to hearing enemy activity within their range. The higher the value, the longer the delay before they act when hearing your activity. The hearing delay, reaction time while at peace. This slider, I think, controls how quickly a bot will react to hearing enemy activity when disengaged and removed from action. The lower the value, the shorter the delay before they act when hearing you if idle. The global gunshot audible range multiplier. This slider Slider controls how far away bots can hear gunfire in general. The higher the value, the farther away they can hear gunshots and begin reacting to them. The Global Footstep Audible Range Multiplier This slider controls how far away bots can hear audible footsteps in general. The lower the value, the less capable they will be of hearing your footfalls from a distance. The Suppressed Sound Modifier This slider affects the range at which bots can hear suppressed weapons fire. The higher the value, the better they can hear suppressed gunfire at range. The Subsonic Sound Modifier This slider affects the range at which bots can hear suppressed subsonic munitions. The higher the value, the better they can hear even subsonic ammunition through suppressors at range. The Location Category has controls to affect bot behaviors for each map in Tarkov individually. In the location-specific modifier group, each map group features multipliers to affect bot vision, hearing, scatter, aggression, precision, and accuracy for map-based tuning, one being the default value for every slider. This makes it possible to quickly buff or debuff bot capabilities for every map. The look category has controls for fine-tuning bot vision in raids. The vision speed setting group values control the bot's abilities to spot enemies under various conditions. The elevation subgroup controls how bot vision is affected by elevation. The enabled toggle controls whether bots are affected by sane parameters 
parameters to restrict or enhance their vision based on their elevation height. The high elevation angle range slider controls the upward elevation difference required for these parameters to take effect. The high elevation vision modifier slider controls how difficult it is for a bot to spot an enemy at a higher elevation. The higher the value, the longer it'll take bots to spot hostiles on the high ground. The low elevation angle range slider controls the downward elevation difference required for these parameters to take effect. The low elevation vision modifier slider controls how difficult it is for a bot to spot an enemy at a lower elevation. The lower the value, the more quickly bots can spot hostiles below them. The movement group has a single toggle to enable the bot's ability to more easily spot enemies the faster they move in the environment. If enabled is on, bots will spot a sprinting enemy more quickly than one jogging or walking. The parts visibility group has a single toggle to enable a bot to more quickly spot an enemy based on how many of its limbs are visible. If enabled is on, a bot's ability to see an enemy is better when more of their limbs are unobstructed. The peripheral group has a single toggle affecting a debuff to bot vision at the outside of their look direction angle. If enabled is on, bots will take longer to notice enemies at the outermost edges of their vision. The pose group has a single toggle to affect a bot's ability to spot the player based on their posture, ignoring the posture of other AI. If enabled is on, bots will take longer to spot the player when crouching and prone. The third party group has a single toggle affecting a bot's ability to spot an additional enemy outside of their current target's position. If enabled is on, bots will struggle to see new foes that appear outside of where they're watching an active target. The vision distance settings group has a single slider to control how well bots can see the player moving from a distance. Scaling with player movement speed, the higher the value, the farther away bots can see you moving in the environment. The not looking at bots settings group has a single toggle to make bots less quick to spot and acquire the player accurately outside of the player's own vision. If bot reaction and accuracy changes toggle experimental is on. Bots will be less dangerous when attacking unseen by the player. The no bush ESP group has controls for the bot's ability to see targets through foliage in the environment. If no bush ESP is on, bot vision will be further limited by obstructive bushes and trees to benefit concealment. If no bush ESP enhanced raycasts is on, this mechanic will be intensified to use more raycasting checks against foliage using more PC resources. The time settings group has controls for limiting bot vision in the darkness of night. The nighttime vision modifier slider affects how much bot vision distance is debuffed at night. The higher the value, the farther they can see after dark. The snow nighttime vision modifier slider affects how much bot vision distance is debuffed at night in the winter season. The lower the value, the worse their vision will be at range after dark and in the snow. The flashlights and NVG settings group consists of advanced values for tuning how the bots can make effective use of night vision and illumination devices. The mind category has controls to affect bot personality behaviors. The force single personality for all bots group has toggle controls to force a singular personality onto all bots and raids. Each personality type is listed, all are set to off by default, and only one can be toggled at a time as a guarantee that every bot will have that personality. The global aggression slider controls how aggressive all bots will be when given the opportunity to engage, with a default value of 1. Increasing this will cause bots to become more aggressive in action against other bots and the player. The bots can use stealth search toggle enables undetected bots to use stealth indoors to conceal their activity. If off, the bots will ignore any need for subtle movement in buildings. The only sneaky personalities can be sneaky toggle, limit sneaking to bots with the rat and snapping turtle personalities and depends on the previous toggle. If on, the other bot personality types will not be compelled to employ stealth when searching buildings. The shoot category contains a single control for bot accuracy. The global recoil multiplier slider controls the recoil modifier for all bots when firing. The higher the value, the more recoil bots will experience during weapons fire. The talk category has controls to influence bot speech lines and raids. The talkative bot type toggles will enable each of them individually to speak with one another when out of combat, revealing their positions. If off, the different bot types will refrain from conversation in peaceful moments. The friendly response chance slider influences a bot's proclivity to use friendly voice lines with the player. The friendly response chance AI slider influences a bot's likelihood of responding to other bots with friendly voice lines. The friendly response distance slider determines the range at which a bot will respond to the player in a friendly way. The friendly response distance AI slider determines the range at which bots will respond in a friendly way to one another. The friendly response frequency limit slider controls how frequently bots will respond kindly to interactions. The friendly response min and max random delay slider controls how much time must pass between friendly voice responses. The vanilla bot talking toggle prevents any sane parameters from influencing how bots talk, disabling squad chatter and dynamic responses. The squad talk category has controls for how bot squads converse amongst themselves in raids. These control sliders are very specific parameters for bot conversations, most having to do with the frequency of contextual voice lines depending on their activities. Change them if you will, but I don't think you'll ever find the need.
Join the Club Starbucks Patreon for a written version of this guide that I've designed in Notion. There's even more available there, as well as in the Club Starbucks Discord server if you'd like to join. Be sure to reference Sane on the file base for any further questions and explanation. If there's anything else you'd like to know about this mod, please let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel and like this video if you'd like me to cover the advanced parameters also available within this mod. Thanks for watching.